In this video, we're going to take a close look at the Traxxas Max Slash and also Mojave. Show them when they run for top speeds. And talk about how they handled off-road. How they jumped and some of the durability of each one of the vehicles. All right, y'all, here with a quick comparison between the new Traxxas Max Slash 6S and the Armor Hobby 4S. So I'm going to go ahead, let's just get the elephant in the room out. The biggest difference between these two is going to be the price. You're going to pay $699 plus tax or whatever for the uh, Max Slash, and it's $499 for the Mojave 4S. So I think that what justifies Trax is having a price tag just for them and the way they price their vehicles is because this is a 6S vehicle. Um, it does have belted tires and it is slightly larger than the Mojave. So in just my opinion, that's probably the reasons why they have it as a, at a larger or higher price tag. Um, we, when I first did RC updates, a lot of people speculated. We thought between $599 about $729. Some people were saying probably $799. So some people were surprised that it was $699. And it is what it is, guys. I mean, literally, it is what it is. I mean, with that, you are getting a vehicle that can run 6S LiPo. It's got belted tires on it. Um, it is kind of a new design, so maybe that justifies the higher price with Traxxas. I'm not sure how they work with that, but, you know, that's them. But it is... $6.99. A lot of people have ordered this, so don't sit up here and demean it just because of the price. A lot of people have, I looked at a lot of the comments from my videos, a lot of people are anticipating this vehicle and they want to get it. A lot of people are um, getting it in and there's going to be a lot of videos and stuff like that on it. So that's one of the biggest difference between the two is going to be the price for them. Some people want it to be lower. Maybe it'll go lower at some point in time. I don't know. I don't care. I mean, it's, it's here now and I'm doing kind of a my own thoughts and review on it. So it is more expensive. So there is a $200 difference between the two. Now, as far as speed wise goes, they both went 55 miles per hour. I did test the Mojave 4S when I first got it and it went 55 miles per hour on 4S with no gear changes. And then the Slash Max went 55. It may have had a couple more miles into it, but when I ran it, it did kind of lift up like it was gonna take off and I didn't wanna flip this out there on the concrete and scrape the body on it because it's actually gonna dig into the body and tear the body up. Running on road and flipping your car is a lot different than running off road and running into something. I mean, you won't tear your body up as much for you guys that are was commenting about that. So that's the reason why. Um, I will at some point in time because Traxxas does say that the Max Slash can do 70 plus miles per hour, um, but you have to have the optional gearing with it. That's going to be a 44 two spur gear and a 25 two pin gear. I think the chart just popped up for it. So they're claiming that you can get 70 plus miles per hour. And with these belted tires, you probably can, but with this body, I think you're going to catch a lot of air trying to do it. So that's going to be interesting. If anybody can get that stock out the war, I guess with the stock configuration with the body and stuff, they're probably going to have to cut some holes in the body for it. Um, and we'll get to the body aerodynamics too, because that does affect how these vehicles jump and perform. Um, so with that, so both vehicles, like I said, for my testing, I got 55 on both vehicles with it. Um, so um, as far as performance wise and handling off road, now the Max Slash does come with the TQI radio with the TSM. So that does help it with handling off road and stuff. The Mojave doesn't come with the ABC radio or anything, but it actually doesn't need it. It actually handles good um, off road as it is stock out the box. I think it's um, one of the best 4S vehicles out there as far as especially short course trucks and stuff goes. Um, Army did a good job, to my opinion, on designing that. So as far as handling goes, uh, jumping wise, I'm going to give that to the Mojave and that's because of the way this body is designed. It's very aerodynamic, meaning that the air can kind of flow through the top of the body, through those guys and figurines and stuff in there. And then the inside of it is closed in so that a lot of air won't catch underneath it and catch the car in the air while you're jumping and stuff, which the Max Slash, it actually catches air and it kind of has a parachute effect, which you guys saw in those videos and stuff that I did of it. So... They both do jump good, but the Mojave is going to jump a little bit better because of the way the body and stuff is designed. I know some people don't want to hear that, but it actually does jump better because of the way Armour designed the body and stuff for it. With that, uh, as far as uh, some of the other stuff of it, I'm going to take these bodies off in just a minute. But handling characteristics, like I said, off-road, they both ran good off-road. It's just going to be user preference, and it's going to be driver preference. Some people can drive better than others, and the Max Slash is wider 
than the Mojave. And it's a little bit bigger just by just a few inches here and there. But its wider stance and its kind of lower stance does help the performance of it, does help it perform good at its size and stuff. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna get these bodies off real quick. Now with the bodies off, you can see a huge difference between the two. Like I said, this comes with a 6S capable system um, like I said, Traxxas is claiming you can get 70 plus miles per hour. That's a, we're going to put that to the test at some point. Um, and then, of course, this comes with a 4S system on it. I've seen guys put 6S in there, and I actually ran 6S on this once, and I couldn't get it up to speed. I mean, I got it up to, I think, about maybe 55 to 58, and it was just too much power um, for this vehicle. I mean, I know some people out there are doing it, are lowering it down, they're putting weight and stuff on it, but 6S is, in my opinion, too much for this because... It's a lot of power. Yeah, my tires are bald right there. You guys see that? <laughs> Switch the front from the rear. Um, but 6S was a lot of power in there. And of course, if you go 6S, then you got to change the speed controller out, which is what I did. I kept the stock motor in there. And I don't recommend changing out and running like that off-road. You can do it for speed test. But now you're adding money to the cost of this too. The speed controller is going to cost you about 130, 40 bucks. So now it went from 500 to about 630 if you're trying to run 6s on it and you're going to have to change some other stuff if you want to run 6s on it you can because i've seen guys do it but my opinion is stick stick to 4s 55 is good for this on road and a little bit lower than 50 when you go off road because of going off road with it but also you guys see i know those tires are worn down on the mojave so you guys see the difference in tire size too so this does come with some actually really good tires these are belted tires and thus far running them they have actually performed well i haven't had any issues with them and they didn't balloon up or anything so these tires are actually good and like i said they may justify the price for this vehicle um being slightly uh being 200 bucks more the the tires the design and a couple other things the 6s system that's in it and then you guys see also with the shocks there the Max Slash does come with the threaded body shocks and the Mojave does not. Now, both shocks are good. I haven't had any problems with my shocks on my vehicle. Not saying that people have not. Um, you guys see here, this is from running and bashing and stuff. I know somebody's pointing out, look at that right there. Um, but I haven't had any major problems, let me put it that way, with my shocks with that. And these Max shocks are actually good. I hadn't had any problems with my Traxxas Max. And I don't think I'll have any problems with this Max Slash running that either. So there is differences with that right there. And like I said, it's probably justifying them having a higher cost with this. Um, durability wise, they're both short course trucks. So short course trucks are actually strong. I've jumped both of these a lot, especially in the same area. I have yet to go to the skate park at the time of this video with this Max Slash, but I will go there. But I don't think I'm going to have any issues because it's going to be just as strong as the Max Forest is the way it's constructed and built. So I don't think I'll have any issues um, with that, but they're both going to be very durable regardless. So you can't go wrong with durability for it. And then part support, of course, you can't go wrong with that. This uses a lot of components from the Traxxas Max. I believe the A-arms and stuff are the same. So the only problem you'll have right now at the time of this video is if you check, if you crack like the chassis or break like the center plate place, uh, placement or something like that on it, you will have to wait for parts unless Traxxas gets them out. But they're pretty good at getting uh, hobby stores and um online shops and stuff pretty much stock with their um stock um parts and stuff for their vehicles so i don't think you have a problem with that um aftermarket parts uh right now i know traxxas is uh, has several aftermarket i say bling bling stuff for this mash slash that you can actually purchase uh there's not too many that i've seen so much for the mojave um, for us, I think RPM makes some ARMs for if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, but it hasn't really needed anything. I don't think you really need, I didn't need bling bling on mine. I don't need bling bling on any of my vehicles, like any of the aluminum stuff, but that stuff is out there. And of course, Traxxas is going to have lights and stuff for us. So you start adding all that to your vehicle, it is going to kind of go up in price. And you start putting that aluminum on it, it's going to make the vehicle a lot heavier too. So consider that. That weight may actually help the vehicle perform a lot better, but I think if you start jumping 30, 40 plus feet up in the air, you're going to start messing some stuff up. So, But people do that um, with that. So as far as our aftermarket goes, there's going to be aftermarket, especially what Traxxas is doing for this Max Slash than there is for the Mojave 4S. Now, I know there's aftermarket light kits and stuff you can buy for, so you can see that out there for that. Um, they both come with Willy bars in the back, which you will probably need if you're going out there, especially if you guys that are running... 6s on this and 8s on this you'll probably need that willy bar for it uh which is going to be uh interesting i haven't i have yet to use it a lot when i went 6s on the mojave i definitely needed it 
probably when I do that speed run with this and I start gearing up, it's definitely going to need it for that, at least to try to keep it down. So I'm glad they actually included that Willy Bar and stuff on there. And then the other thing I'm going to talk about is just real quick is um, the... I guess the easy use for it. Um, this does have a clipless body, which is a new concept Traxxas came up with, uh, I don't know, a couple years ago. And this actually uses body pins. There's nothing wrong with using body pins or anything, but this clipless body does make it a little bit uh, faster to get to the battery and stuff for it. One of the problems could be with the clipless body that the body could actually start popping off if you start jumping and hitting stuff. But you can always put like little foam spacers up in here to make that body catch and stuff more. So think about that too. And then battery wise, this may be kind of limited on battery size, but you can always, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be aftermarket companies, but you can actually take this out, this brace right here. And there's some Velcro straps you can actually put down up in here. That's gonna mount on here so you can mount larger batteries on it. So I'm pretty sure all that's gonna be coming out. People are gonna be doing videos on that pretty soon. So you guys stay tuned for that. So in a nutshell, that's that y'all. I don't wanna get too in depth with this. Speed wise, they're both the same. Uh, performance wise, it is going to be on the driver, but the Mojave does jump better, just like I said, because of that body and the way it's constructed and stuff um, for it. Off-road handling, the Max Slash does have bigger tires for it, but they both handle good off-road. Uh, it does have belted tires, and this does not have belted tires. So when you start putting 6S, and I don't think anybody's done 8S on the 4S Mojave, but you will need to get some better tires. I don't know how this is going to handle, because um, people are going to do 8S, but I don't know how that's going to handle, but we'll see how this handles the speed gearing for it um so in a nutshell guys that's it i don't want to like i said try to drag this out too long it's already longer than what i wanted it to be but those are some of my thoughts on like i said the biggest thing is going to be the price difference between the two 200 bucks but you are getting a 6s capable system belted tires with this but as far as handling goes it's probably a, somewhat about the same as far as handling durability is going to be good but the mojave does jump a lot better because of the aerodynamics of the body and the way they designed it so anyway you probably disagree put your comments down below if you agree put your comments down below if you don't care put your comments down below so anyway guys i'll see you guys next video i'm trying to get these two out and get a friend and race them somewhere and get some tires for, for this mojave so it'll make it a little bit more fair so as anyway appreciate you guys watching see you in the next video